What am I doing? How do you even get this to stay? How do you get this to stay? <laughs> Hey loves, it's your girl Rachel here. OMG, I miss you guys so much. So this is my first ever wig lay. And no baby, it is not a tutorial. I want you guys to rate me from one to 10 on every single step. And leave some tips in the comment section as well. So without any further drama, let's lay this wig. I got a wig. I got a wig. And I'm so excited, <laughs> oh my goodness. So yes, I have never worn a wig in my life. I've never laid anything. Your girl does not know how to melt. So this is gonna be my first time ever trying on a wig, ever trying a new look, ever like finessing and working with it. So I'm super duper excited. I've never had a break from my hair in a wiggy type of way. So I'm excited. So let's just get into getting my, I can't even put words together. Get yourself together, Rachel. I got my got to be glued. How am I gonna use it? We're gonna see. I got my wig caps and stuff. I am so excited. I'm so excited. I've been needing this break. And for any of you, who are looking at me like, now I know you're not about to put all that beautiful hair up under no wig. Honey, braid my hair. Wash it, okay? Deep condition it, all right? I need this break. I need this break. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna look. So first things first, let's get this hair braided and laid. I'm afraid, I already have I already have a healthy, a healthy circumference, um, and trying to get all of it in a standard size wig, I'm scared. I'm pressed. So I'm not gonna do any more than about eight braids, but once I get started, I'm like, girl, why are you doing this? But once I put my R and Bzs on from the '90s, honey, I'm ready to go. So what R&B songs am I listening to, you ask? This one. My body gets weak, my mind gets tired, needs sleep, but I gotta keep traveling on the road, doing these shows, New York to Cali, Dallas to Philly. It's the rules of the game that I chose to play. Sometimes I want to say, baby, won't you braid my hair? Come on and braid my hair back in my hood. Feeling good, yeah. Whew. So after I sung my way through about eight braids, I'm about done. So yeah, boo, these braids are looking a little bit thick, but guess who's not going to do any more? So I'm loving the look, but I'm really feeling like I'm giving you the Mario vibes. Is it Mario or Mario? Because I've always said Mario, but then somebody came out and said Mario and I'm like, um, we can't be friends. Either way, that was my childhood fantasy boyfriend. So put some respect on his name cause she don't want this heat. Oops, so now your girl got her wig cap on and it is already coming together flat and laid. Yes, look. Your girl know how to get the ears down. Ooh, I was feeling myself. So I did some research and it shows. So for those of you who wanna know, first you take your gotta be glued, then you spray it, you spray it. Then you take your blow dryer and you dry it, you dry it. First you take your little scissors, then you cut it. You cut it and you cut it and you continue to cut it. Oh, so we still cutting. Okay, then we fail, we fail. How did that go left so fast? <laughs> what am I doing? How do you even get this to stay? How do you get this to stay? <laughs> okay, so no, no, no. I can't, I can't do it this way. Oh shoot. And some parts was working real good. Other parts is like, girl, what were you chanking? Oh my gosh, this, I, I mean, but that got to be glued, don't quit, you hear me? Oh wow, how am I gonna get it off? Okay, let me see, I got some of this. 
we ain't doing it like that. I'm just about to put another, another stocking cap on and I'm just about to pull that joint way back. Camouflage the line because guess what? On there, it has alcohol in it. It should take it up. There we go. There we go, right? Let's rub it up. There we go. No, cause this ain't gonna happen. Just keep rubbing. Oh y'all, I found a good remover. Oh, okay. So, failed attempt, I'm gonna try it again. I'm not gonna be advanced and try to cut the wig cap because guess what? I am not in these streets like that. I'm not a pro out here in these streets. So after that first failed attempt and being publicly humbled by that wig cap, girl, I'm just gonna put another wig cap on my head and just throw my head over and put it right inside this wig. Honestly, with the type of lace that I got, I don't think I really even need the wig cap lay down melt method. So as we secure the combs and the clips on this wig, let me just explain to you the type of lace that I got. So on the left, you see transparent lace. On the right, you see clear lace. This is the new lace from XRS Beauty. And as you can see with both pieces laid down and melted, one side is obviously a lot more clear than the other. With both sides laid down, you could even see the small hairs on my arm through the clear lace. So I'm super excited to see how this wig looks and honey, let me just show you like the way the hairline already looks without the wig even being laid. I'm automatically a little bit bougie and a little bit spoiled by this wig. So just like you gotta secure that bag, you got to secure that wig. So I'm pulling down the clips on the inside of the wig as much as possible. There's little combs inside just to make sure that the wig is not going anywhere. And I think the wig is really well made. It doesn't shed too much. Um, for those of you who wanna know, I'll leave it in the description box, but this wig is 200% density. It is 16 inches and it is 100% human virgin hair. So one thing about me and wigs is I don't like to have my hairline looking very different from what my natural hairline looks like. So for this install, I'm going to try to let a little bit of my natural hairline shine through. Since the clear lace says that it's clear, my hair should actually look pretty good if I let a little bit of my edges shine under this lace. So what I like to do is just get the got to be glued and to spray it around my hair. I'm using a lot. I mean, honey, it's dripping. I'm all in. So as you can see, my hair is already looking like a whole natural hairline. I'm just taking the blow dryer and I'm not using my fingers to touch the lace because that will leave residue. Um, I'm just blow drying it until it sticks down and once it's finished sticking, that's when we're gonna start cutting the lace. So I'm already cutting my lace and so because I'm not a pro, I don't know how to cut the lace and just be done. So I decided that I will cut my lace and then I will lay the parts that need to be laid again. So although she's not a pro, I'm gonna go in and cut the rest of the lace. I actually found that if you do little cuts in a zigzag pattern, you're gonna get a much more blendable natural look. And that's kind of what I tried to do. I didn't wanna make very bold, confident cuts with the lace because like I said, she's still an amateur. And once you cut it off, honey, you can't put it back on. So I'm just gonna use a little bit more got to be glued. And I think I'm gonna do my second lay and bam, here we go. A little bit of foundation to just further blend and make it look as natural as possible and I'm quite impressed. Without even baby hairs, this looks quite real. It's scary, like low-key getting addicted, but shouldn't because this is weird for me. So as you can see, my hairline looks so stinking good. You can still see a little bit of that residue, but I'm gonna fix that. Um, as you can see, uh, the hair is absolutely beautiful. 
One thing that I am gonna do before I lay this edge down for the second time is get a little bit of mousse. The mousse I'm gonna be using is the Curlsmith mousse. I think it's called the Volumizing Mousse. It's amazing, it works really well. And this is just gonna really help lay down the part even more to make it look like the hair is coming right out of my head. So I'm also gonna go do my makeup to show you guys the finished result. I might put a little bit of curls in the wig and you guys get to rate how good you think I did on my first wig lay. So loves, the wig is laid. To the best of her ability at least, no, it is not 110% slayed to the gods. However, I think I did a pretty good job. I made several mistakes during the installation process, but the fact that it even looks this good, I am super excited. Some things I would have changed is I wouldn't have put liquid foundation on the lace after I already laid the wig. Um, another thing I would have changed is I would have got some of the edge tapes instead of my satin scarf to not, you know, disrupt the glue and cause the white residue. Another thing I would have changed is just cutting a little bit more of the lace because, oh my gosh, it doesn't need that much help at all. So this was the final look. I curled it. My edges look fabulous. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye. Just wanna see how you like my content. It'll sure make me happy if you would like it. But if you like it, please subscribe to it. Hit the bell so that you'll never miss this. Oh, you're the best part. Oh, best part.